Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to do some random pulls for Japanese style Mahjong, also known as Reach. If you don't know how to play yet, there is a link below the video to the lesson playlist. Just click the words show more and it'll expand the video description. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I invite you to subscribe and then click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any potential strategy or insights into the game that might give you an advantage at the table. There's a caveat to that though. I'm learning too. So maybe we could learn from each other. As I go through these exercises, if you would do something different, write it in the comment section. Let's get to some random pulls. I have all my tiles out and they have been mixed. I have a wind of the round indicator, Hanchen indicator. We're going to start as at east and then we're going to go to south. And then I'm going to roll to see which seat I'm in just to randomize the variables. I have a nine here. So we're going to say that I'm in the east seat this time. This is the first random pull. Let's just pull Dora. Eight bam is Dora. Those are the variables. Let's see what we can do. with these random tiles. There we go. Oh my goodness. Look at that Dora. That is what we're building around for sure. So let's see what we can do with it. I'm thinking pinfu as quickly as possible. We do have a bit of a challenge though because we do have isolated tiles in here. Here's a potential chi isolated. Here's a potential chi or here is a potential chi. We do need a two sided weight and this can either win, um, be waiting on either a three crack or a six crack. So that might be a good two sided weight. These back here are isolated. This could be the pair, let's say, and this could be a potential chi. So we have one, two, three potential chi's in a pair. So we would need tiles to chi with these isolated tiles back here. So there would be some drawing to do, but I would go for the quickest win possible and I think that would be pinfu in this case. I would start by throwing these honors away. Leveraging Dora. So the Yaku would be Pinfu and Reach. And then that, so that would be two Han plus Dora. This would be a five Han hand. Mangan. That's nice because then you don't have to count Fu. The Fu table, those are mini points. If you have less than Mangan or five Han, then um, you have to count Fu which is kind of a pain, <laughs> I think. I try to play Mangan so I don't have to count Fu. Is that a bad thing, do you think? Okay, if you would do something different, let me know. We're gonna do the next one. We're on South Round this time. And let's say we are in seat six, which is uh, south. We're non-dealer, so I'm going to get 13 tiles. And then let's draw Dora. Eight crack is Dora. So eight crack is Dora. Here's our tiles. Okay, I see a lot of cracks in here. We do have an Akadora tile though, even a pair to use that Akadora. And we have Dora right there. So it's south round, we are seat south. So this east won't help unless we play half flush. Oh, there's a pair of two cracks. So we have two pair right here and right here. Hmm. 
I think what I would do here, I would go for half flesh, maybe all pone if I pair up. Because we do have two pair here, but if I draw in cracks and pair up these honors, I might sacrifice the five and go for half flesh because we only have two pair. Here we have a potential chi, potential chi, potential chi, one, two, three potentials. If we paired up and got another crack, we might be able to get set for each of those chis and go for half flesh. That's, I think, what I would do. These are isolated, so they're not going to help out at all. Let's see here. One, two, three. Yeah, I think that's what I would do in this case. If you would do something different, let me know. Would you go for Pinfu and get rid of these? Let this be the pair, maybe. Chi, chi, chi. Get rid of those two. Try to get a chi tile in here somewhere. This could be the two-sided weight. I think we're in between. So we'd have to draw on this one to see for sure what would be the best way to go. We're back to east round. And seat nine, which is east. So we get 14 tiles this time. Let's draw Dora. East, south, west, north, back to east. So east is the Dora tile this time. No Dora, but we do have a pair of white dragons. And we do have some cracks here, although we have mixed suits. I think still I would try for maybe we could try for mixed triple chi. Look, two, three, one, two, two. We could try for mixed triple chi and a pone of white dragons. So that's what I would try for. Throw these away first. And then if I drew in cracks and more honors, sacrifice those. If I didn't draw in the one dot, one bam, or three bam, I mean, there'd be work to go there, but there is a potential for a mixed triple chi, which would be one, two, three in each suit. If you would do something different there, let me know. That's what I'm seeing. So the Yaku primarily would be this pwn of white dragons, hopefully. That's a potential pwn, I should say. Okay, next one, south round. Oh, let's see what seat we're gonna be in this time. Five, which is also east. Nine bam is Dora. We are dealers, so we get 14 tiles. Okay, so for this one, we have, let's see, we are seat east, and it is south round. Look at this, we have a pone of west. So the only way that's going to be good is if we go for a half flesh or all honors. We do have a couple of honors here, but we do have a pair of two bams. I think what I would do is I, ooh, all pwn. That's what I would do, because there's a pair. Here's a pair. So we have a pwn, potential pwn with both of those. I would want to try to pair up. That's what I would try for here, all pwn. We need one more pair to get ready for the fourth pone and then any other tile for the pair tile. No Dora in this case, but I would try for all pone here. If you would try something different, let me know. A 
Okay, we're back to East Round. And I rolled a seven this time. Seven is West. So we are on East Round and it is West Seat. East, South, West, North. So South is Dora. And we are seat three west. So we get 13 tiles. We have an east and a north. Not helpful. We have a white, oh, a pair of whites. Nice. Okay, so that could be the Yaku right there, a pone of dragons. And then as far as what else we could do, it's going to be rough because we only have one other pair here, a two crack for the other pair. And then the rest of these, very little potential <laughs> because there's no chi potential except for right here. That's it. So that's going to be very difficult. We could try for all honors and sacrifice the two. Try to pair up and pwn, maybe. I would hold on to the two as long as possible and throw these away. Maybe try for, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight tiles towards 13 orphans. 13 orphans, all honors and terminals, or all pwn if we paired up. That's what I would try to do. If you're going to dream, dream big. That's my motto. If you would do something different, let me know. Last one. We're on south round. This time we are seat five, which is east. Okay, so we get uh, 14 random tiles here for being east. Dora is seven bam. We have Dora right there. We have two honors, singles. I would say we can shoot maybe for Pinfu, Leverage, Dora. Let's see. We do have Chi Potential. Okay. Chi, Potential Chi, I should say. Potential Chi, here's a pair, isolated. Potential Chi, and here's a Potential Chi with a two-sided weight. There's a two-sided weight, and there's a two-sided weight. I'd go for Pinfu here. Most definitely Pinfu. Throw these away first. Chi, 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 Tsumo. I would try for Pinfu and Reach. And we would, of course, be leveraging Dora. Let me know what you think about these random pulls. Write it in the comment section. And then if you have a set at home, give this exercise a try and let me know how it feels. Let me know if it helps you in your decision making when you play with other people or if you play online. I think it's really great practice and it's a great form of solitaire. Speaking of solitaire, maybe you could try solitaire, four hands at one time. You have to be able to compartmentalize though your decision making or you skew the outcome. So it takes a little self-control, but it's a lot of fun. Look for those uh, solitaire videos and check it out. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and click that bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any of these exercises where you might pick up on some strategy and insights into the game that can give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese style mahjong, also known as reach, may all your picks be keepers. <laughs>